Now, along with forces, we also need to care about moments. So let's just go ahead and show that. So forces, you know, we've already seen that a lot right here. And that's the lift and drag. But we also need to care about moments. Because those are also important for us controlling our aircraft. And there's going to be some sort of twisting moment. Okay. Now, where does the moment come from? We're not going to do as long of a derivation this time, but we're going to still use our airfoil, just like before. We're going to have some section of that airfoil that we're caring about. That section will have a pressure and a shear stress on it. Yeah, let's change colors there, actually. So pressure and shear stress. That's going to be at some angle with the horizontal or with the flow, sorry. We're going to have our cord here. That looks a lot nicer. That's a pretty good cord line. And our angle of attack, just like last time. With the flow coming in, we get all kinds of forces. But now what we're going to be talking about is our moment. So if I were to put my origin right here at the sur top surface, Y and X, I will also have some moment spinning around that. And we're calling this the leading edge moment right here, because I'm placing it at the leading edge. Now, if you remember what a moment is, a moment is equal to a force times a distance. That is what it is. So the distance isn't too hard here. Um, that is simply my distance to the leading edge. And the force is going to be very similar to what we had before. So let's go ahead and write out the equation. So delta m leading edge. Ah, why did I do a cursive L? There we go, leading edge. And we're doing this prime, so we're doing it per unit span. And this is for the upper surface right here. It's going to be equal to my pressure on the upper surface in that segment times cosine of theta plus the shear stress on the upper surface in that segment times sine of theta times the width of the segment times x. Now that's where x is. Actually I want to do that in a different color just to show nicer. That's x and this is my force. So force is simply stress times area. This one is my distance to the leading edge. So this was just for this particular spot right here on um, my upper surface. But remember, we have an upper and a lower surface, and we have to integrate it. So to get our body moments, we're going to have to integrate. the upper and lower surface. What does that lead to? It's going to lead to this equation. So our moment at the leading edge per unit span is going to be equal to the integral from the leading edge to the trailing edge. That's the pressure on the upper, cosine of theta, plus the shear stress on the upper, sine of theta, times x, which is the distance to the leading edge, minus the pressure on the upper, sine of theta, minus the shear stress on the upper, cosine of theta, that's 
Make sure I'm doing this right. Yes, that looks good. Y. So that's only for the upper surface right here. You have a lower surface portion as well. But I do want to talk about the X and the Y. So let's talk about this X and the Y right here, okay? So if I'm looking at a moment around any particular point in space, and that's due to just a force. Now let's make sure that force is at an angle, makes it easy on me. Due to some force like this. That force will have an X component, force X. It will have a Y component, force Y. And that is some distance X and some distance Y leading to that moment. So in this case, my moment would be equal to, which means you know, I did this way, I'm gonna do this right. Counterclockwise positive would be X times force Y minus Y times force X. And that's what we're doing here. Taking the force in the X direction and the force in the Y direction and we're more or less taking, um, you know, this right here would be, in this case, the force Y. I'm not going to keep that on my notes because I think it would be more confusing to be helpful if I'm not just listening to this video. But that's where that's coming from. Okay, now let's go ahead and finish this equation because we still got more to it. Now let's do the bottom surface. So integral from leading edge to trailing edge. And we're going to have negative the pressure in the lower surface now, cosine of theta, the angle with the flow um, between the flow in this particular panel, plus the shear stress on the lower surface times sine of theta. Once again, we're bringing in the x and the y. Then the pressure on the lower surface sine theta plus the shear stress on the lower surface, cosine of theta. Boom, got it. Upper and lower. So this one right here is for the lower surface. And we add those two together to get our overall moment. Not bad, not bad at all. Okay. Ah. We'll stop here for now, and then we're going to continue on next time. See you in a bit.